welcome back to another video in today's video as seen by the title i will be sharing my secret method to making cooking easier less time consuming with you guys and as you can see here i am labeling my bags I like to label and date that when it's time for me to, you know, pull my stuff out, I can start from the earliest date up to the latest, you know, because we don't want to be using all the, the new stuff and leaving the old stuff. So here, as you can see on the bag that I labeled my chicken, because we season, we're going to season some chicken now. I'm removing them from the container and I'm putting them into the sink. Please ensure that you clean your sink. Well, yeah, clean your sink. Your sink should be clean at all times. So my sink is cleaned and I am getting the meat out of the bag to clean. Okay, let me know what is your way of making uh, cooking less time consuming leave some comments in the um comment section and let's conversate okay guys i'm gonna go mute for a minute so that you guys can watch what i am doing but before i do so i as you can see over the other sink i had some lemon no some lime juice and some vinegar you want to use the vinegar to cut the rawness and uh, you know to just help with the cleaning process of the meat so here you can see I am removing some skin from my chicken because, sweetheart, I do not like skin. Only if I am jerking, you know? Anything else, no skin on my chicken. I'm a, I'm a take off all the skin from my chicken. So yes, guys, watch and see. I'll be popping in and here and there to um, let you guys know what I'm doing, okay? So guys here you can see me bending over i'm trying to get all these hair from this chicken wings because sometimes because of, of how fine the hairs are you can barely see them so i want to go in i'm going in i mean and i'm cleaning it as best as i can making sure that i get all the hair the only way I hear is going to left be left unless it's hidden and I cannot see it without a microscope. You get what I'm saying? So I went down and, you know, I'm doing my best to get rid of all the hair, cleaning out the arm, you know, because you know the wing is the chicken armpit. So we just cleaning out that chicken wing, cleaning every area, removing all the fine hairs as best as we can. And as I said before, only hair that is going to be left is the one that you can only see under a microscope yeah i'm doing my very very best to make sure that these because nobody want to be eating chicken and seeing here you know yeah so we're going in and we are cleaning it Okay guys, and now it's time to clean the chicken. I like to remove the chicken butt. Yeah, in Jamaica we say chicken batty. I don't be eating that. No, no, no. So I like to remove it. 
and go underneath the skin now you see me here i'm trying to get rid of all all i mean all the hairs from the chicken because sweetheart we don't know who picked this chicken but they didn't pick it good so yeah we're trying to get rid of all the hair and etc you know i like to um get rid of the skin from all my chicken apart from the the um the tie the leg and the tie that we are going to jerk you know i'm cutting it like this because i'm gonna jerk it so i like to leave the skin on just to help keep some of the moisture in the chicken you know when i do jerk it so now um you can see we're done yeah we're done cleaning up the chicken only because um i had to speed the video up okay because it would have been longer so we're done we're removing the chicken from this first set of water put it in, into the sink in the other sink and then we're gonna let out the water from um let out the water and put it in some first set of water and then yeah that's how we do the cleaning process of the chicken so continue watching guys So now it's time for the fun part, the part where I season my chicken. As you can see, I use some olive oil and my other different kind of season. If you guys want a more detailed video, let me know in the comment and we can I can have that for you, okay? So now I have one set where it's for jerk and the other set is for, I don't know, what I may do, barbecue, whatever it may be, you know? And after I am done cleaning my chicken, putting it away, putting it away, I like to go in and clean the sink. So here I'm using some baking soda, some pine salt to clean my sink, <clears throat> you know. And then I like to wash up all of the, the mess, wash up, clean up and all of that stuff. So here you see I'm going in. I've already I've already washed the sink, I'm washing the, the bottles and you know all the dirty stuff so that yeah everything the kitchen will be clean after the mess because cleaning chicken and cooking on a whole is kind of messy so I like to clean as I go. So the chicken is all passed out and ready for the freezer and uh, yeah let me know in the comment section how do you store your meat after you you know go to the store. 
so let me know if you guys are gonna give this method a try I promise you that you will not go back if you do and yeah I love 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 this it's time consuming but I promise you when it's time to cook everything will be seasoned and ready to go and yeah kitchen is all clean until next time I'll see you in my next video yeah.